Welcome back. Well, you know, last time we saw Rick Salinger, he was trying to start a snowblower. Yes. Rick, we've all been anxiously waiting. Did you get that blower fired up? Well, since I talked to you last time, I took my starter fluid, brought it inside, and hopefully warmed it up. And now let's see if this thing will start. Let's see. I've got it on run. We have our fingers and, crossed, Rick. And, uh, what? We have our fingers crossed for you. Oh, okay. Here we go. Now I'm spraying it in to the carburetor. Let's see. Prime this, and now pull the thing. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, still not. Third stuck. time's the charm. Oh. Maybe not. <laughs> well, that was Plan A. Plan B was the shovel, but I want you to know I have a Plan C already in progress here. Something every parent should use when you have so much snow on your driveway. This is my son, Mark. Thank you very much, Mark. I really appreciate it. So yeah, put those kids to work. Yeah. We're getting yeah. the driveway cleaned off one way or another. Rick, getting the kids to help Back out to should be plan A, not plan C. <laughs> That's always plan A. <laughs> well, we paid for the snowblower. My neighbors, here, here's Joel over here. <laughs> and uh, Pete's over there shoveling, and uh, nobody's using the snowblower because it's not working very well. So I guess the old-fashioned shovel is uh, the best tool for the day. <laughs> that is true. That always works. And it's light, fluffy snow this time yeah, around, so that makes some, it a little got, easier. We got to make some new friends. This is great. <laughs> Community efforts. We love that. All right.